Hello everyone. So today we're going to be taking a look at the all new 2014 Toyota Land Cruiser. And today's review is taking place at Kelly's Toyota, situated in Letterkenny, County Donegal. For all contact information in regards to dealership, please see the description box below. So in today's review, we'll be looking at the interior of the car, I'll explain how all the features work, we'll also start up, look at the engine, go over the performance data and take a look around the exterior. Now there's actually three ways of unlocking this Toyota Land Cruiser. You can use the key fob as you would normally. You can also use the smart key entry system. I'll just uh, put the key in my pocket for now. Just locate the red pattern on the door and you press it once to lock it. And then just wait a second, grab the handle. And that locks it again. The third way is around at the tailgate. You'll note down here by the registration plate there are two buttons. The one on the bottom is the unlock and the one off the top is the lock. So if I just press this, it unlocks the whole car. You've got your four one-touch automatic windows, which are lock and unlock, as well as the electric driver's seat. It also has a full black leather interior with running boards just to help boost you up into the car a bit more. So as I was saying this car does have the full keyless entry system so just leave the key fob down here. Start buttons off to the right side. And this Land Cruiser has only got 51 kilometers on the clock so far. Just apply the foot brake and hold in the button to start the car. So the Land Cruiser comes with a black leather wrap multifunction steering wheel. It has electronic rack and pinion power assisted steering. It's very good, very nice tight feedback. And of course it is completely manual adjusting. The lever is located in the center of the steering rack. You pull it in and out and up and down. So you got your multifunction controls here for the radio as normal and then you got your Bluetooth hands-free controls located here as well as the cruise control stock there. Now there's a nice array of buttons off to each side so we'll just go through them. You got your electric mirror controls here as well as the power folding feature. And then down here, I uh, hope it's not too dark, but of course you've got your um, light level adjustment and your headlamp washers. Then there's this button here that says idle up. If I just press that, we'll just look at the rev counter. Now the whole point of this uh, idle up button is really for winter months, you know, when it's very, very cold. It basically just helps warm the Land Cruiser up uh, that little bit quicker. It does burn a little more diesel, but you know, it does help, as I said, warm it up that little bit quicker. Uh, off to this side here, we got two more buttons. You got your traction control here, and it's displayed up in the uh, rev counter. And then we have a button here that says second start. Now, I didn't know what that was at first, but after reading through the manual, it's actually just a system that helps the uh, Land Cruiser find grip and uh, accelerate a little bit better uh, on slippery surfaces, primarily snow and ice. So basically there's two buttons here really for winter features. And also the uh, sun visors are wrapped in this very nice soft uh, fabric. It feels kind of like suede, so it does. And the vanity mirrors are also illuminated. And it's also got this third mirror. Still has the factory plastic on it. Just gives you kind of a more wide angle view on the rear passengers. It also comes with the touchscreen radio as standard. It's very great sound quality. Get in the game. All sports Just turn it down a little bit. This is very, uh, sus, uh, sorry, very simple uh, touchscreen unit to use. Very similar to what Toyota used in the rest of the range. So you got your arrows here for navigating through the stations. You also decide between your favorites. You can go through manual tuning as well. And if I press this here, you can select between your auxiliary uh, and AV socket there. You know, I think that's for television your AM and FM frequencies and on page 2 you got your Bluetooth, CD, iPod and USB and then you got a couple of other buttons here if I just click the car one it gives you your trip information and then you can clear it all from there 
just press that return button to bring you back to this menu. Uh, this Land Cruiser does not have the uh, satellite navigation chip installed, as you can see there. And then media is just back to the main radio screen. And if I press setup, you can go to your general settings, your display settings, your Bluetooth settings, and your phone settings when you have it paired to the Bluetooth system in the vehicle. And back to the media, there we are. And also uh, down here you have your auxiliary and iPod plugins. Also got 12 volt power glass, heated seats for the drive from passenger side. And also has dual zone climb control here with your digital readout, your different fan speeds, automatic mode, recycling, front and rear defrosting, so on and so forth. It's also got a few storage areas, and they're actually very large ones. This one, very deep, you can fit my uh, most of my hand in there. And also it has another two cup holders down here. Got a little storage here where I have the keys. And also underneath here, you got a huge bin. You can fit a lot of stuff in there, so you could. Oh, sorry. The left handle reveals a very small one. You fit like maybe paper, something flat in there. This Land Cruiser comes with a 5-speed automatic transmission, arc, reverse, neutral, and drive. And you can shift manually from here. And if I go back into reverse, the backup camera and guide slides come on. And instead of going with the electronic parker brake, Toyota just decided to stick with your uh, standard handbrake lever, which I think is better. Although I will admit, the um, center armrest here, you know, can sometimes get a little in the way of the handbrake lever. You know, I don't think you can get as good a grip on it as if, you know, this was the full back or if the center armrest was mounted a little further back. It's only a minor inconvenience though. And then we get to the seats. Very, very nice. Very comfortable leather. Plenty of side of bolstering. Lovely to sit in. The interior of the Land Cruiser is a very nice place to be. It, you know, it's very well equipped, so it is. Uh, there's different variants of these, of course. There is the standard uh, three-door Land Cruiser. The Kelly's actually have a white one, which I'm going to show you towards the end of the video. And then you have this uh, five-seater, five-door estate. And you can also have a commercial version of this, which, of course, you know, they rip out to the rear seats and it basically becomes a van. Uh, this one costs about 54,000 euro. This is the business edition. And then you can have a seven seater version of this, which costs about 84,000 euro, nearly 85. And then you can get the V8 Land Cruiser, which is 147,000 euro. So that's very, very expensive. Now these particular Land Cruisers that we get here in Europe are called the Prado Land Cruisers. And then the standard Land Cruiser is just the V8 one. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back seats. quite a lot of room back here as you would expect. Legroom is quite good. We've got storage areas in the back of each front seat. Very good headroom as well. Tons of rear visibility. And a center armrest with two cup holders in it. And also the floor is nearly completely flat. There's a small bulge here from the transmission tunnel. But realistically if you get the center seat, you know, you've got very sufficient legroom. And of course there's rear ventilation as well. So it's a big spacious SUV, so far so good. And also I don't know if you noticed, um, but because it's getting a little dark now, because of these winter months, there's green LEDs on the um, window switches. So let's turn on the vehicle's power. We'll turn on the headlights, as well as the front and rear fog lamps, as well as the hazards. And we'll check out the exterior. The exterior color is called Astro Black. The current generation of the Prado Land Cruiser is very good looking. In the past they were very simple, basic looking Jeeps, but now it's, uh, it's definitely got a lot more in the styling front. For example, if you just look at the headlights, they look really cool. 
the way they um, shape off down towards the grill. They're almost part of the grill design at this point. And the grill itself has a little bit of chrome but still maintains a bit of a blacked out look about it. Headlamp washers, lower fog lamps, pretty good ground clearance as well. It also comes with these 17 inch alloy wheels as standard with front and rear ventilated steel disc brakes. It's also got nice chunky Bridgestone tires as well. It also has a double wishbone suspension and coil springs all around. They also engraved Land Cruiser into the head and tail lights just off to the side. It's also got the black roof rails and the smart key lock and unlock can also be found on the uh, front passenger side door. And also the spare wheel in this car is located underneath the vehicle just to free up a bit more room for the interior. It also has a split tailgate. Press this button here. You can just open the glass portion. And instead of the boot opening up like you know what in a normal car, it just has another door. Just pull the handle here. And the boot space itself, as you can clearly see, is massive. It has 621 litres of room. Good wide opening door. Completely flat floor. So as well as a cargo cover. Also has a power outlet off to the side. To fold the rear seats, just pull out this uh, little black piece here. Up the seat cushions, and then there's two ways you can pull down this seat. You can pull this to release it, and then press that to pull the whole lot down, or you can just ignore this lower handle and press this anyway. I probably should do this with two hands because the seat does come down with quite a bit of force. And with the seats folded, they go down completely flat, and now you've got tons and tons of room in the back of this thing. You can fit anything you want back here really. The overall length for the five door Land Cruiser is 194.1 inches. It has a width of 74.2 inches with a height of 72.6 inches and the total wheelbase is 112.2 inches. Should also uh, point out depending on where the spare wheel is mounted on the five door Land Cruiser the length of the vehicle can vary. Down here, you got your fuel filler cap release and your bonnet release. The engine is a 3 liter inline 4 cylinder turbo diesel called D4D in terms of Toyota. It produces 187 brake horsepower with a top speed of 109 miles per hour. It also produces 310 foot pounds of torque and it can average about 34 miles to the gallon. indicators and the exterior mirrors. So let's power on the Land Cruiser and see how it sounds.
and this here is the white three-door Land Cruiser I was telling you it's about. Uh, the key fob is the exact same, although they still have them in the plastics. Now this particular three-door is the commercial version, so it doesn't have back seats. It's got the same three-liter four-cylinder diesel engine as the black one. And it only has one electrical adjustment for the driver's seat. The rest of the controls are, of course, manual. And it also has the keyless smart key access system. And this one is a six-speed manual, so just apply the clutch and the button turns green. Power it on. It's got the same climb control and touchscreen radio. The only thing it doesn't have is the hill descent mode, but still has the locking diffs and the high and low range. The center console is slightly different. It has the uh, ashtray. Now, um, there was an ashtray in the last Land Cruiser I had there, but it was in the glove box. But you've got a storage area there for a cup holder. you got two more cup holders there. Your power outlet, auxiliary and USB plug in. Same storage areas. And black fabric seats. And leather on the gear stick itself and to put this into reverse it's the same as a BMW all the way over to the left and up and it also has the reversing camera just turn on the headlights and put down the window also has the roof rails This time the spare tire is mounted on the vehicle. These three-door Land Cruisers will be the most popular ones, you know, amongst, uh, let's say, farmers, for example, and people like that. Ones who just need tons of room in the back. And also these uh, three-door commercials are the cheapest Land Cruisers as well. I think they're about 33,000 euro. I don't know, something roughly around those lines. I'll actually put a price list for all Land Cruisers in the description box below. And also if you get the um, spare wheel mounted on the vehicle itself, on the five-door Land Cruiser, it slightly uh, alters the length of it. You can find out more information on Toyota Land Cruisers by visiting toyota.ie. So it's the same wheels. And this one also has the power folding exterior mirrors. So we're just going to cut back now to the black five door Land Cruiser. And before you finish up, I should just show you these three off road controls down here. You got your hill descent mode, uh, you got your high and low range. If you just push this dial in and twist it, you can choose between your high range here and your low range there. And you got your locking differentials. And I'll just demonstrate that everything displays up here. For example, there's your hill descent your low range and your diff locks so to sum up this current generation of the Land Cruiser I think it's a really nice SUV this one comes very well equipped you know it has a very nice 7 inch color display touchscreen it's easy to use it's got many good features on it You've got dual zone climb control and excellent 5 speed automatic gearbox you got all the off-road controls you could need. It's got the two winter controls I was telling you about, such as um, the second start system and this uh, button, which I'll just demonstrate once again for upping the res when idling. And it's very comfortable. It's got you know lots of gadgets. It's got tons of um, storage spaces, as I was showing you. It's spacious. It's comfortable. It's got very nice black leather seats massive boot as you would expect in a vehicle of this type and I should also mention I'm sure a lot of people know this already but how the Land Cruisers are very popular you know in the military here in Ireland and the UK they're very popular amongst farmers primarily because Land Cruisers are just known for being some of the most uh, durable and toughest best off-roaders money can buy 
they are quite expensive. I mean, this one here is about 55,000 euro, and if you want to get the seven-seater version of this, we're talking nearly 85,000. But they are worth it because a Land Cruiser will never let you down. I know I sound like a bit of a salesman there, but that is the facts. And of course, this current generation of Land Cruiser is one of the best looking yet. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed this full and that tour of the 2014 Toyota Land Cruiser. Please remember to rate, comment and subscribe, and please stay tuned, we'll play more videos to come. Thanks for watching everyone.